My name is Christy Foley. I'm Managing Director of Foley Sport and I'm based on Shotland County Mead. My great-great-grandfather set up the business here in 1845. He was a blacksmith. I left school rather early to come into the business to help my father. So I started off and I was showing horses full time and as the years went on I felt the inclination to do wrought iron work. Wrought iron in itself is an attractive piece of decorative iron assembled by a craftsman. I had three sons involved in the business. They would be the fifth generation. I'm very pleased that they are carrying on the business because it was, up to a couple of years ago, a dying craft. We get the iron in in its raw state and then Mark goes over the drawing of the gates and specifies the material that we're going to use on it. Then it's brought out of his drawing board and left outside here for Paul. Yeah, like, like the initials in the, in the circles, maybe? Mm. Paul then goes through the different dimensions, measurements, sizes, and they discuss it together, and then the gates are commenced. They have machines now that uh, can cod you. You don't know whether it's handmade or whether it's done on a machine. But we try to stick as near as we can to the old way of doing it. It may be slower, but it's hard to break away from tradition. of clients. There's the bigger stud farm, there's the architect, and there's the landscape gardener. But then you have the other end of the specter, you have the individual that wants a smaller gate for their own homestead. It's not a long gate, you have a whole wide variation of ironwork that they want. Somebody always wants something different than anybody else. Nobody wants to have the same design, and if they can afford it, they go at the price to get something special. But this is another style of a wrought iron garden gate. Now, this is uh, at the request of this particular client. The garden is somewhere along the coast, I don't know whether it's up in Hoth or somewhere up there, but along with himself and uh, Mark, they designed the gate to his satisfaction. So this is the rippling of the sea, of the water. Now, the sunburst here uh, is the main feature of the whole gate. And then you have the dressing here of the fern leaf work, which gives another bit of character to the gate. At the moment, there's so many components that are coming in and people are assembling units like uh, gates and everything else in their backyard. But to me, uh, that is not the real wrought iron work. I would much prefer to see the handcraft, the hand forge, the power hammer, the sparks flying. It's the pleasure that Apart from anything else, that we get out of making an end product for an individual. We, we genuinely take a very deep pride in our end product. And uh, I am lucky that 
Paul and Mark and Alan uh, have such an interest in the business.